The enemy has started attacking our villages near his borders. Your people need supplies to hold off the enemy forces until you can reach them. This land is far from the enemy and is the perfect place to build up resources. Flatten plenty of land, then make farmers and woodcutters. To supply our besieged villages, you'll need to create at least five farms and gather 30 units of wood. Job. Those resources could make all the difference in this war. It won't be long before you'll have to face the enemy, so you need to learn how to fight back. Before you can build an army, you need weapons, and you can't make weapons without iron. There are several ore deposits in the hills around this village. Find one and lower the land to fully reveal it. Now push the land down to expose the iron ore. You're going to need a blacksmith to turn that iron into weapons. Go to the origin stone and select the dark blue blacksmith icon to assign one. 
Great. Here's some iron to get you started. Select the red shield and spear symbol to create your first... You can direct your soldiers around the map by placing a totem in the ground. Move a short distance away from the village and find a place to send your new soldier. Select the totem icon in the top left of the screen to plant your totem in the ground. If you place your totem inside the enemy borders, your soldiers will attack. Place it in your village to make them defend your borders. Or place it anywhere else to send your soldiers to that location. When you have your totem placed, using the cycle icon in the top left of the screen will cycle between it, your origin stone, and your original location. You can also use the shift key. Your powers use a lot of mana, so wouldn't it be great if there was a way to boost it? Luckily, you can turn one of your followers into a priest to inspire your followers. Go to the origin stone at the center of your village and activate the light blue segment with the staff icon on it. Any of your furlings standing close to a temple will generate twice as much mana for you as usual. Priests are also a great way to protect your village. They'll convert invading enemy furlings into one of your followers. I'm afraid we must leave your training there for now. I've just learned that the enemy has begun invading our lands. You must help us fight back. Great one, your people need you. The enemy is invading this land. While the enemy is still securing their position, they are weak. You should build up your forces and attack before they grow stronger. To support an army, you will need to build more farms, as well as collect iron for their weapons. Try to build an army large enough to defeat the enemy.
you will need to connect the islands before you can attack. Raise the land between the islands to let your soldiers cross. Remember, to make your soldiers attack, you need to place your totem in the enemy village. Your furlings in this land are safe once more. However, one battle does not win the war. There are more lands under siege 